Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. We're back here in Dragonvale and the new Mythic Egg Hunt has just begun. And we're literally just loading up Dragonvale and starting the event. So this is the first screen we see and we're going to OK that and I'm sure it'll take you through the different steps. So we tap on this first building, the, the Brocadian, Brocadian Bazaar. I can't read it with that arrow in the front of it, but I think that's what it says. And here's all the info on the egg hunt. Playing the egg hunt, egg of mystery, a random dragon egg. Okay, cool. Prize tiers, earning magic eggs, buying magic eggs, claiming prizes, all the usual help stuff down in here. And we're going to tap that out and we're going to get 100 eggs to get started. There we go, 100 eggs to get going. And uh, I think if you tap on the number on the side, or you got a prizes button right down here. So let's go check out the prizes. We got how many tiers? Four tiers. We got speckled, striped, spotted, and sparkled. So we can tap into speckled. And there's a chrysalis pedestal. Got some pedestals. Arc de triad. Trigs? Oh, tri eggs. Okay, tansy pedestal, which is one of the new dragons. Uh, Chrysalis Habitat. We have two of two that are available, so that's ghosted out. Chrysalis Dragon is back. Uh, there's a new uh, dragon class, Hidden Dragon, so we got a Hidden Habitat. And the Egg of Mystery, that's new. So I guess when you buy that, you don't know what you're going to get. I guess it's like a free dragon of hopefully an, a dragon that you don't have in your park. And we got Duskwing is back, and Tansy Dragon is a new a new dragon that's in the speckled that's going to striped lacewing pedestal stone shell that's another new dragon uh, we got the monolith here the Bricadian monolith uh, but that's back the stone of egg enchantment as a decoration not sure if it does anything else but that's a cool decoration I guess a big stone egg uh, lacewing dragons back monolith boost which is cool speeds up your monolith Dragons in Ernie Dragon Cash and Stone Shell Dragon, I believe is one of the hidden dragons, I think. I'm not sure. Let's see. Tap on it. And yeah, it's a hidden. That's a new icon for the hidden dragons. It looks like it's a new hidden dragon. And let's go into the next spotted. We got Swallowtail. Starwing is a new dragon. Cum Cumulus. Pedestal is, that's a new dragon. Transfiguring Tree, Swallowtail, Starwing, there's a new dragon also, Cumulus Dragon. That's off, also a new dragon. Relic of the Epics is back. And where were we here? Yeah, we went into Spotted. Let's go into Sparkled. Marble Tail's back, a new Tulip Dragon. There's the pedestal. A Glowing is another new dragon. Look at that egg, it looks awesome. That's a very cool looking egg. Marble Tail, Tulip Dragon is a new dragon. Glowing, another new dragon. And the Lost Islands back, if you don't have it, you can collect some eggs and get that. And the Monument of the Epics is back as well. So we got some cool new stuff and some returning items, which is very cool to see. Oh, and here is our daily reward, and we've hit 100 out of 100 rewards here for the Dragon Wish. So we're going to or for the uh, the wish and we're gonna collect the wish and I know what I'm getting with that wish I'll show you in just a second and we can start collecting eggs by cashing out our habitats we're gonna show you a few ways to get the eggs but if you need help getting the eggs so well, let's go check out the new island there's the new island as part of this event and what is this we tap on this so here's our first prize of the day now the strategy for prizes is wait until the end of the day uh, until you've maxed out the for the total number of eggs that you're allowed to collect for that day and then go and collect your prize because if you collect it now it'll go towards your total if you collect it after it'll go above the total that you've collected if you maxed out for the day so I'm waiting until 
I've maxed out for today before I collect that. And what do we have over here? That looks like just a, let's see, what's this called? Brocadian Garden. So every 24 hours we tap on that and we get some eggs. Is that what we got? I didn't notice. But we tap on that every 24 hours. What's this building here? The Exceptional Arcade. So here's our games. And Wheel of Chance and name that egg. Wow. Okay, the Wheel of Chance I'm not too big on. I'm not a big fan of the Wheel of Chance. You spin and you get your eggs or your gems. You can try the Wheel of Chance. Uh, the name that egg I like better because I can I can recognize the eggs and you're guaranteed the the eggs uh, for each play. So that's obviously a, a wave light. And let's try it one more time. And I would say that is a turquoise. See, so you, you can get these, or I can get them, I can recognize the eggs and, and get uh, the the 30 eggs or how many ever eggs you get for each guess. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, or the Wheel of Chance, <laughs> sorry, a little slip there. Uh, you know, you don't know if you, you, you might get one egg, you might get 15. What are, what are the other choices? Or you might get 40. So it is a wheel of chance. Normally I, I get one egg and that's very disappointing. So I think I'm going to stick with the name that egg game. And what else is here? The Chalet of Challenges. So we're going to start that. And let's see, do we enter in one dragon? or Oh, we have a friend's dragon and my dragon. So we pick a dragon here. It's the egg roll. So I usually go with the uh, the I, I want to call them traits, but the elements on each side. So on the my dragons, we got cold and air. So I just go cold and air, and I pick the top one that I have for that. And then I look on this side for metal and light. Tap metal and light, and we got the highest is this palladium dragon, and we'll start that. And this looks like a, a chalet of challenges that goes every two hours. I would imagine. Yeah, every two hours. So you can come back and do that as many times as you can. Uh, but keep in mind to try and do this first before you start collecting eggs in your park from either the the uh, the nursery or or the uh, the habitats or uh, by um, clearing uh, clearing trees and rocks from a, a new island or any of those things that you do in the park. So get that going first because if you max out and you haven't started the challenges uh, you won't be able to do it until the next day until the game resets. So get that going and if you max out while it's still going and you collect it it'll go into your gifts. If that's the way it works based on previous events uh, that's what should happen. It'll The money or the eggs you get from the challenges will go into your gifts if you've already maxed out. So that's a great way to get a few extra eggs each day. So we can go through here and cash out all our habitats. Uh, and when the Coliseum is done, you'll get some eggs from that. Uh, and I'm sure we're going to have a few double weekends or maybe one double weekend, which would be great. And let's see if we get eggs from the quests here. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got 20 eggs up to 174. Was that 20 eggs? Not sure. But we all go and start the quest a little bit later. And as you sell eggs, we don't need this one. We should get some eggs from the eggs. <laughs> and there we go. We're going to sell this one. And what do we get? Another two. And one thing I did, I know it's a little late to tell you about this, but one thing I did before the event started is I left all my habitats alone. I didn't cash out anything uh, probably about 12, 24 hours before the event started. That way when it starts, I have a whole bunch of habitats to collect from and I'll get some eggs straight away. And we have enough of these. Let's sell this one. 20. And sell this one too. So we got 20 eggs. 
And it looks like we got 20 eggs from the quest also. And this breed is still going. This one's done. We're going to leave that for a second. And this one is done. So we got a couple eggs in there. Yeah, there's our prize. It's asking us to get our prize. You get a few gems or eggs from the gems we collect here. And then, of course, more eggs from cashing out habitats. The other thing is your food. Grow your food as much as you can. And you'll get eggs when you cash out your food. So we're going to get our food going. Okay. So there's our, our food all ready to go and we'll collect some eggs after we're done with that. And also in your social tab when you send gems to people uh, it'll send them some eggs uh, and you'll receive some eggs also from your friends. So if, you, if you're if you low on friends make sure you add a few more friends to get the, uh, the max number of uh, gems sent and received each day. That'll help get some more eggs and of course cashing out all these and be sure to come back uh, and as soon as your habitat has that gold little icon that you see here it's ready to cash out and you don't have to wait till it maxes out you can cash it out and hopefully you'll get some eggs along with it so cash out all these I'll go through these all a bit later but you cash out all these in your park as soon as you see the gold icon and it'll give you some eggs hopefully and then come back as soon as that gold icons back again on your habitat and cash it out again okay so we've cashed out all our habitats uh, collected as many eggs as we can we're up to 360 already and we're gonna come back a little later on cash out our habitats again so let's go into the prizes and we're gonna go check out these new dragons that we have so we have there aren't any new, oh we got one, the Tansy Dragon right here and it it looks like these dragons are breedable so the Tansy Dragon you can breed with a monolith, the green monolith dragon and a cactus dragon and you can do that either I assume as a co-op breed or in the island or the cave level up the dragon as high as you can and try and breed for the Tansy Dragon uh, you can see its incubation time is 20 hours. Starts at 9 dragon cash a minute, and it's a hidden dragon, which is one of the new class of dragons. And in stripe, we have the stone shell dragon. And stone shell, you can breed with the monolith, the purple monolith, and a quake dragon. And you can see it's a 24 hour breed time. And it's a hidden, another hidden dragon, 11 minutes, or 11 dragon cash a minute. And you can try for that as well. Because it would be great if you can breed these dragons and to save you some eggs. And you don't have to go and buy the dragons from the, the prizes. And now we have the star wing dragon. And the cumulus. Let's do the cumulus dragon first because you can breed that with a monolith, the blue monolith, and a rain dragon. It's 18 hour breed time. It's another hidden dragon. I'm really interested to see what these hidden dragons look like once they get into the park. And up here is the star wing. Now, the star wing is bred with a chrysalis dragon and a glow wing dragon. So you need to either buy the star wing or either buy the glow wing now let me go over to the glow wing dragon and then I'll explain the way these combos work the glow wing dragon is right here so the glow wing dragon is looks like it's uh, 31 hour breed time it's a chrysalis dragon uh, starts at 13 dragon cash a minute and the glow wing dragon you can breed with a chrysalis and a star wing the star wing you can breed with a chrysalis and a glow wing so it looks like you're gonna have to buy either the glow wing or the star wing first if you buy the glow wing then you can try and breed the star wing with a glow wing and a chrysalis if you 
buy the star wing first, then you can breed, try and breed the glow wing with a star wing and a chrysalis dragon. Uh, if you don't get, if you aren't successful with the breeds on either one, then of course you can go and buy them with uh, the eggs once you collect enough eggs. And then we have, I think last is the tulip dragon. And that's a 22 hour breed time. And you can buy it with 4,800 uh, collected eggs. It's another hidden dragon. And you can breed that with the monolith, the pink monolith, or sort of like a, a pinkish purple monolith dragon, and a flower dragon. And the 22 hour breed time. So you can try breeding all those dragons, which is pretty cool. You just need to buy one of the dragons for the glow ring, the glow wing, or the star wing dragon. So we're going to try and breed for the cumulus and the stone shell dragon first. So we just need to go over here to our monolith habitats. Just have to find them. They're around here somewhere. There we are. And <clears throat> we got all our monolith hab uh, dragons down here, and we need our blue monolith ha uh, dragon for the cumulus and we're going to level this one up to level 20 and then we also need the purple monolith dragon which is the first one here for the stone shell dragon and we're going to level that one up to 20 and it's a twin hopefully that'll help and we'll go over here to a breeding cave, a breeding island, and we're going to try for the stone shell first in the island. So we'll pick our monolith dragon, and we need the purple monolith right there, and quake, which is right there. And we're gonna try for this dragon and see what we get. And what's our breed time is 12 hours. And we need a 24 hour breed time, so we didn't get it there, but we're gonna tr keep trying until we get that dragon. And how much time is left on this? Eight minutes. Just let's finish it up for one gem. And we got one egg from that. And we're going to breed our blue monolith dragon. Right there, Jeff, the blue monolith dragon. And go get a rain dragon. And hopefully we've got a rain dragon. Right there, level 18. And you're in this habitat right here. So... There's a rain dragon. We're going to level you up to level 20 also. I'm going to turn off the crown. Oh, we're up to level 91. Oh, that's the other cool thing. We're up to level, we're going up to uh, level 95. Levels have been in increased to level 95. And also, there's a new island, an 18th island. So let's breed for the, the cumulus. We'll get our blue, Jeff the blue monolith, and we're going to get our rain dragon right there, and we're going to hit breed, and we need, what's the breed time here? Eight hours, I don't think that's the cumulus dragon. Go in here, we can check, where are you, cumulus dragon? There you are. So we need 18 hours on the cumulus dragon. So we'll cut out of there, and so we have a new island also that's been added to the game. And if we go into the market, you can see it right here, islands. The 18th island for 12 billion dragon cash. And just go over here to our wish, and we have one wish, and we're going to claim our wish, and that's what I want to get is that new island. So I'm going to claim the wish and go into islands, and the 18th island. And I'm going to buy it with one wish. Are you sure you want to spend your wish now? 
Once your wish is spent, it's gone forever. Yes, I do. I've been waiting a hundred days for this. Island under construction. So we need to wait. Oh, two and a half days for our 18th island. That's very cool. So there you have it. There's the new mythic egg hunt underway. Uh, there's six new dragons, possibly a seventh dragon that may appear during the event. Uh, good luck breeding these dragons and good luck collecting dragon eggs. And I'll come back to you with further videos if I have more info to help you guys out with this event. Until then, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like or a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on Dragon Vale. We'll see you guys next time.